Justin Fortune, strength and conditioning coach. boxing, yes. Strength and conditioning coach of Manny Pacquiao. Justin, great to talk to you. Uh, you've been training with Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I was just talking to Freddie Roach, talking about how vocal Keith Thurman has been pretty much since the beginning. So I'd like to get your take on what you've seen on Manny Pacquiao. Have, have you seen him use this talking as extra motivation, as fuel for the fight? I think that um, Thurman thought that this would upset Manny and throw him off his game. But it's just an absolute reverse. It's put Pacquiao made him much, much more determined to um, do some damage. To, to them. We haven't seen that guy for a long time in Pacquiao. Um, that's the last guy you want to piss off, is Manny, because you know he'll fight, but if he wants to beat you up, he'll beat you up pretty bad. Um, so good for us. I like Pacquiao that way. And Kermit Thurman, you said some stupid stuff. It's like really, like just ridiculous, where it ends up being not show business and not even funny, just rude and um, ignorant. Some things have been kind of, you, you could some say that he crossed the line. It's not way to take a guy's religion and do stuff. It's like, dude, this is boxing. It's a sport. So, you know, whatever. Today he said, I mean, it has nothing to do with religion, but today he said that he was going to knock him out in six rounds or less. When you hear things like that from him, what do you make of that? I was saying, we've had 70 fights, and there's 70 people that probably said they all thought the same thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't, it, goes, it doesn't go his way. I can't see him. Listen, at his absolute best, two and a half years ago, he was fighting Danny Garcia. He couldn't stop Danny. Danny's a good fighter. Um, Sean Porter, net today, beats fucking Keith Thurman today. You know, So, no, he's slow, and um, he has to say that. He has to build up his own confidence. He has to justify him getting knocked, himself getting knocked out. So, whatever it takes, dude. I think you're right. Well, with Manny Pacquiao, we've seen that 40 is just a number. We've seen him, uh, we've seen a rejuvenated Manny Pacquiao. In your eyes, what do you see in this 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao? Just a much more experienced and much more determined guy. Same guy, strength-wise, speed-wise, the same, but much more determined, but with a whole bunch of experience on top of it, which makes him twice as dangerous. He said 30 fights, 30 whatever. I guess that's 70, and has been at the top, or champion, number one or champion for over 16 years, which in itself is phenomenal. So, you know, just that alone, that's what it is. Well, you've seen him put in the work. What do you expect to see on fight night from Manny Pacquiao? I expect to see a win, um, a very determined Pacquiao, and, you know, we won't look for the knockout, but if it happens, it happens. Uh, it's just, it's hard to keep someone like Pacquiao off, and Keith Thurman's really not the guy to do it. So. Speaking to um, just um, to Freddie Roach just momentarily and from things that Manny Pacquiao has said to the press about wanting that rematch with Floyd Mayweather, do you want to see that rematch? Do you believe that a healthy Manny Pacquiao can can beat him? No, I personally, I think there's better guys out there. I think Floyd's. Uh, I don't really, I don't think people really care about Floyd. Floyd will be 42 by the time they fight. Floyd will be 43. Manny would be 41. I mean, I think Floyd sort of shot himself in the foot, so to speak, when he fought uh, um, the MMA guy and then the Thai guy. They would like both had no boxing fights, and you put that on your record, so your legacy sort of shot the hell now because it's, it's, it's beyond me, whatever. But uh, I, don't, I don't particularly want to say. I think uh, uh, Crawford and Spence and. Danny Garcia and Porter, there's a whole bunch of other 47s that actually deserve the shot before Floyd. Like like maybe the winner between um, Errol Spence and Sean Porter. Maybe the Spence, but yeah, the winner of that, Spence and Porter. Um, who knows? There's other guys out there that are better um, for me. But man, I know Manny wants payback, and I understand that completely, but you know, I don't really think it's there. I don't think the interest is there that much. That's all. Well, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to talk with us. Good luck on fight night. Thank you so much. Thank you.